To open SpyBot Search and Destroy, select the desktop icon. This program is also located in the Windows Start menu. First, search for updates by selecting the Search for Updates button. I always leave the default download location where it's at, select Continue, and you will see that we have four available updates which are pre-selected. Optional updates are always unchecked. Let's download the suggested updates. And you will see when downloaded successfully, they will have a green check mark next to them. Once downloads are complete, we'll always remember to check immunization as well, which I will show you how to do. Let's exit the updater and go to immunize. And this will apply all the immunizations. We can see here that we almost have all available, but there are 720 left. Hit the Immunize button, and this will apply the latest protection. Now all we need to do after these updates is simply check for problems, and this will scan every file on your system. While doing this, you can minimize the program down to your toolbar by clicking the upper right hand side, but be sure to bring it back once finished and remove what is found. When the computer is finished scanning all the files on the system, it will pop up and show all the vulnerabilities. Here you will be able to check mark each one. You will see there are none on this system, which does not surprise me. This has very limited internet access and is cleaned regularly. If items are to build up here, that's when you receive problems. So it's a good idea to run this once to two times a month. Remove what it finds by checking them and selecting Fix Selected Problems. You'll see this is grayed out because there's nothing to clean. That is all, and close SpyBot and keep that updated and you're in good shape.